If you use Git for much of your development needs, you should know there's a dirty little secret to be found. When you store things like database passwords, OAuth secret keys, and application secret keys, that data is stored in plain text. That's clearly a security breach in the waiting. To get around that, you could use Git Secret. I'm going to walk you through the process of installing and using Git Secret on Ubuntu Server 18.04. Add the necessary third-party repo by piping the output of echo to the sudo command. Once that is taken care of, download the GPG for the repository with the command shown in the article below. With the key added, install git secret with the command sudo apt-get update ampersand ampersand sudo apt-get install git dash secret. In order to use git secret, you must first have a GPG key pair. If you don't have one on the server or desktop you are working on, Create it with the command gpg dash dash full dash generate dash key. First answer the questions regarding the key creation and then, when prompted, enter your name and email address. Once your GPG key is created, you're ready to start using Git Secret. The first thing you must do is initialize the Git Secret repository with the command git dash secret in it. If you've not already initialized a Git repository, you'll be warned to do so with the command git init. Once you've initialized git, rerun the git secret init command. Next, add the email address associated with your new GPG key pair with the command git dash secret tell email, where email is the email address associated with your GPG key. Now you can add files to the secret repository with the command git dash secret add files, where files is the name of the files you want to add. If adding more than one file, separate them with a space. Once you've added all the necessary files, hide them with the command git dash secret hide. To unhide those files, issue the command git dash secret reveal. If you need to add other users so they can decrypt and work with the files in your repository, the first thing you must do is import their GPG public key with the command gpg dash dash import key.txt, where key is the name of the user's public key. Once the key has been imported, you can add them to the secrets repo with the command git dash secret tell email, where email is the email address associated with the newly imported GPG key. With that done, those users you've added can work with the files in the repository using their GPG key passphrase. <laughs> If you want to learn more in the ways of everything tech, be sure to subscribe to our Tech Republic YouTube channel and watch more how-to videos at How to Make Tech Work.